This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we are currently transitioning from wheel kinetics to Crosscut. Uh, it's a marketing thing. It's pretty cool, pretty exciting. And this is our first vehicle uh, being offered as Crosscut. We got a little plate thing here for it. Anyway, um, this truck uh, is a 2013 F550. Um, it's an XL, but it's got power windows, it's got power door locks, it's got power mirrors. It's a really loaded regular cab F550. It's got an 11-foot utility bed, obviously, with a 1,250-pound uh, hydraulic lift gate um, uh, that's aluminum, lightweight. Um, it's a really pretty truck. We purchased it uh, the 28th of April in Phoenix. It was a lease return. A company lease return. We purchased it. Uh, my brother drove it uh, home uh, from Phoenix, 100 miles. Ice cold air, ran great, nothing going on whatsoever. And anyway, I'm going to walk around this vehicle. I'll show you what I see. And um, go into the hood. We'll start the car, the truck. We'll, we'll go into the hood. We'll uh, look around the truck. We'll go on a test drive. I'll tell you how everything works. It's pretty simple, really. Okay? Anyway, um, while we're here, like that, I'll show you the Carfax 2 in a second. All right. Glow plugs. There we go. All right. Let's see. 176,975 miles. Okay. Carfax. All right. There's your VIN. It does show an accident report in 920 of 19. However, they did not return it. They didn't total it. Uh, and it says vehicle was functional. Uh, we don't know if it was rear end or front end. But I think if either of them got hit, uh, the, this truck won. <laughs> they probably got a ticket. This is what I'm getting at here. Uh, this thing did not lose an argument. So it was born in Mesa, Arizona. These Purcell places are all kind of corporate, um, big lease truck type service places. And generally, these lease companies, these big companies, do their own servicing. This thing runs and drives great. So right here it says one, 137, 937 miles. Involved in rear end collision with another vehicle. It says front. All right, so we'll go stare at that. Uh, vehicle functional. Obviously, they didn't turn it into the insurance company. Uh, because they kept driving it um, so I would say they probably just bumped into somebody and they wrote him a ticket um, trying to find any kind of uh, Kelly Blue Book or anything on anything above a 450 is hard but we did find in 450 on, in car gurus this is as close as we get to this vehicle we like to give people an idea of what the value of, the, of a vehicle is 2012 450 obviously a much shorter bed without a lift gate with 147,000 miles they're selling for 24,750 it's a year newer with a much bigger bed and a lift gate so that's kind of close this is the closest we could find this is this looks like the exact same bed but without a lift gate um and 144,000 miles but it's a 2012 for 29.9 okay uh we try to research what we're doing here and make sure that you're getting a lot of value that uh uh your purchase is a is a good one it's good like ours is right then everyone's happy. All right. Um, let's see. Let's first stare at the front end. I don't see anything here, but you see the little, got the little signs here, maybe. Or oh wait, it's like that. See got all the chemical stuff, right? But I don't see anything going on there. Probably just bumped somebody, and that was the end of that. Grill looks fine. Everything looks fine. Ford stamps there where they belong. That's great. Wow. All right, let's go over here. A window up and down. We left this big ass thing in here. It's got this big mount for a computer. Obviously, it's pretty easy to take it out if you want it out. But it's called a looks like H A V I S. 
don't know if that'll help anyone or not, but might as well leave it there in case it does, right? Let's see if we can get this seat up with one hand. Make sure we look underneath there, all right? You have your manuals and everything in there. Let's see, oh, your door locks. You can't do the door locks with the doors open and the key in it. That is the truth. Let's see, how do you open these guys? Oh, I think you gotta open them from the inside, huh? Maybe, yeah, somehow from in here. Yeah. Let's go here. Ah, oh, here we go. Somehow, hmm. Somehow these guys lift up. La la la. Oh crap. What do we got here? Oh, here we go. Does that do it? Yeah, that does it. There you go. So that's that. And then there's another one somewhere. There it is. Oh. Uh -huh. There. Whoa. Got a little hydraulic things. It just popped up when I closed it. Okay. Let's see. Down here. All right. For the lift gate. Let's see. You go up, then you pull it down, then you go. And if there's weight on it, it goes a little bit faster. So let me put a foot on it. There you go. That's down. And then up. That's quick, man. Look at that guy. Well, you better watch your fingers right here with that thing there. If you get your finger right there, you're going to get whacked. See that? How fast it goes? I'd be careful. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's your bed, right? And you go like this. You set it like this, and then you go down, and it slides right into that slot. And it's a Waltco SB12, 1,250-pound capacity, um, serial number 661932, dated 3 of 13. It's Waltco lift, okay? Boom. I learned how to do this now. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. This little handle. There you go. There's that one. All right. Pretty sweet setup here. If I must say so myself. All right. Window. Window. Mirrors out, in, up, and down. Other side out, in, up, and down. A little tear in the seat. Got a tilt wheel. This thing's pretty loaded up for an XL. I gotta look at the badging on this thing. No, it doesn't just, oh yeah, it does. It says XL right here. Well, it's a lot of equipment for an XL. A lot. They definitely special ordered this truck. They don't make an XL like that. All right, let's get some AC going here. Boom. Excellent. And it's already about 90 here. It says 74 right there. That's because I had it inside a minute ago. It's definitely not 74. Pretty soon it'll be 174. All right, let's see what else. Let's see. T traction control off and on, right? Um, what do we got here? La, 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 la. Radio. It's even got a CD player and MP3 capable on this radio, which is kind of weird. But you know what? Let's see. That's, there it is. I was wondering if they had it turned off for so people wouldn't listen to it. But there you go. Sometimes I'll disconnect the volume so that people don't screw around on the work truck. There's tow on and off. You have, uh, let's see, radio. Steering controls. Use the steering controls here, right? Got Bluetooth. I mean, phone. Got cruise control on. There's on and off. 
a lot going on in this truck for a XL. I don't know, I guess maybe just the vinyl floor makes it an XL because the rest of it makes it an XLT. And it's got a manual seat. Anyway, all right. If you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you will pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is a group upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, there'll be no dock fee. Uh, once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. You'll be able to see everything immediately. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, all right? You will have the truck shipped to you. Um, once the truck shows up, you already have the title for the mail, you'll go get plates and it's very simple. If you need help with shipping, please let me know early in the transaction. I can help you. If you need help, I can do it for you. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the truck. Um, whatever you need to do, okay? Now remember, if you are gonna ship yourself, it's a regular cab, F550, with an 11 foot utility bed, okay? Uh, because you wanna give the right information to the shippers or they'll show up and they'll be like, it's longer than you said, and they'll just be a-holes. So. <laughs> have your information correct, all right? Um, what else? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, deposits $500, once we have a deposit, we have a deal, until then it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in, all right? Um, we're not trying to make a pound of money, that's why we include the, you know, as close to a cop as we can get. Now I suggest you go there too, go to, go to uh, Car Gurus. Uh, they're the, usually the best for finding really good comps. And then you'll know how you're doing here, okay? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing that I have for 13 years. We don't have salesmen. We don't have a fancy location. Uh, our location costs us a dollar a year. Uh, we own it, dollar a year, okay? We have to pay property tax about three grand a year. That's it. Um, so you're not paying for a fancy location. You're not paying for salesman's commissions. You're not paying for some attendant to serve you scones and lattes like they are at the auto mall, which is a mile that way from us on this road. Um, you know, they've got a lot of bills to pay. We don't, okay? So we can offer these vehicles a lot cheaper than they can, okay? And we can give you the truth because it doesn't matter. There's somebody out there who'll be fine with whatever's wrong with whatever we're offering. So there's no problem just telling you what's up. Here's the Carfax. There was an accident in 2000 and whatever, 19 or 20 or whatever it was. Um, it's cool that we can do that, all right? And we can do that because we're into it right and we want you to be into it right. Um, but the give and take is when we give you all this information, the video, uh, the good, the bad, uh, the whole bit, you're the owner on day one. We are not writing checks to repair anything on any vehicle we ever sell from the second you're the owner on. Okay? That is how we roll. That's how we keep the prices down. That's how, you know, we end up with customers like, how the hell do you afford to do that? Okay? <laughs> That's how we afford to do that. Okay? At the other dealerships, uh, if you bought it from them, you'd pay a fortune, a lot more than you'd pay us for this truck. And because of that, they, they're like, yeah, fine, we'll fix whatever. We'll fix the door lock or the whatever, injector or whatever, because they made a fortune, all right? They charged you a fortune, and so they will. Well, we're not, so we won't. That's how it works, um, you know. And that's just the, 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 the good part. Now, we're on a terrible road right now, and this is an F550. Listen to this thing with a utility bed. I mean, this thing should be rattling like crazy, and it's not. <laughs> this thing is a really tight truck. Um, clearly, it didn't do any off-roading. It's just too straight, too clean for that. So, I think this is a hell of a truck. I think that's about it. I'm gonna let my brother uh, take over now, do some photos of it. It does have Microsoft Sync over here. Got the trailer controls, right? Uh, what is it, 176,976 miles on it right now? That's it. Thank you for your time.